Welcome to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution ushered in the era of prohibition. The amendment outlawed the manufacture, sale, or transportation of intoxicating liquors, meaning that it was illegal nationwide to produce, sell, or ship alcoholic beverages. The amendment was ratified on January 16, 1919, and took effect one year later. The Volstead Act, passed on October 28, 1919, over President Woodrow Wilson's veto, specified which intoxicating liquors would be prohibited and provided for the enforcement of the act. The religious and medical uses of alcoholic beverages were exempted in the Volstead Act. The Prohibition era lasted until the ratification of the 21st Amendment in 1933. The movement to ban alcoholic beverages began in the 19th century as groups such as the Women's Christian Temperance Union and the Anti-Saloon League campaigned against the evils of alcohol. These organizations grew politically powerful, and many states enacted statewide prohibition legislation prior to the 18th Amendment. However, prohibition spawned massive criminal enterprises dedicated to offering alcoholic beverages to a willing public. In the end, prohibition became unpopular with the public, and it became the first and only amendment so far to be entirely repealed by another constitutional amendment. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.